An envelope with cut up gift cards was mailed to a triad courthouse. Okay, it was a mystery as to why until the person who actually mailed the cut up cards called the courthouse and said this. Just wanted to verify that you got my gift cards that I cut up. I followed the instructions. I want to make sure that I'm not arrested for failing to uh, appear for jury duty. Yeah, the person on the phone told Alamance County Sheriff's investigators he lost $2,500. Now, this is money he is never going to get back. The jury duty scam, I got to tell you, it knows no boundaries. It doesn't stay in one city, doesn't stay in one county, doesn't stay in one state. No, it goes all over. As you see the map expanding, that's how big this gets. There are victims everywhere. The scam can be done different ways, but it always has two common threads. Number one, a fear of arrest, and number two, gift cards. The individual identified himself as a lieutenant, uh, told the uh, victim that you missed your jury summons, and now the judge has issued an order for your arrest. However, uh, you need to go out and purchase gift cards in a set amount. And then when you get the gift cards, call us back here. All right, so in this situation, the fake lieutenant made it more believable by having a phone number that was really similar to the real sheriff's department. And they also knew the address to the courthouse for the person to take down. But make no mistake, no courthouse, no sheriff, no police will ever call you for missing jury duty. No one is going to arrest you right away. And no one, no one takes payment by gift cards unless they're a scammer.